This is once again John from PB Nation here with the Empire Vanquish and I want to show you something about how it breaks apart. I once again have my trusty 332nd Allen wrench and I actually loosened this screw up already. This is a screw right in front of the foregrip. Once it's loose, the gun simply opens up. It just splits apart just like that. No wires to disconnect, no nothing. The front of the board actually plugs into the foregrip as it's closed down, and the solenoid's right there above the board itself. And obviously I had to remove the bolt before it would split open like this, and I'm going to remove the grip panel screws and show you something about putting this gun back together because I think this is something that some of you are going to, going to run into. There's nothing in the grip frame itself aside from just the battery and the wiring harness. Now, when you close the gun back up, you want to make sure that that wiring harness is taut. There's room in there that if you don't do it right, you can pinch those wires, cause yourself problems. So the easy way to make sure you don't do that is just to do it to pull on the battery harness. Now, uh, I mentioned earlier about how f just solid that foregrip is. Uh, I figure we'll take these screws out and see how it's held on, see why it just feels so solid. And again, 332nd Allen wrench, two screws, and boom! The foregrip is actually part of the grip frame. It's one big piece. So that's why it feels so solid. That's why it feels uh, nearly indestructible. I know a lot of you like dealing with gun weights or gun weights are real important. So we're just going to go through a couple different guns that I had in my gear bag. These are ounces. All these guns still obviously have the battery in them. I literally just pulled them right out of my gear bag. The Avalanche Demon. Almost exactly the same weight. Ego 11 with the dart kit, ever so slightly lighter. And back to the Vanquish.